Scholars, this is Miss C, and it is so good to see you today. We will be doing a word workout with coming closer, just a little bit closer, drum roll please, sneaky sounds. Materials. So go ahead and put your thinking cap on. Ready? We have two new learning targets for our lesson. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, I can read and spell a word spelled with E and O. The second learning target says, I can use my knowledge of vowel sounds and syllables to read and spell words. Transition song. Do you know the sounds we'll hear? The sounds we'll hear? The sounds we'll hear? Do you know the sounds we'll hear? Sneaking in today. Word work. We've been working with words that have the schwa sound spelled with E and O. Today, we will practice reading and spelling these words. Remember, the schwa sound at the end of words followed by N is most often spelled with E. We hear this in the word happen. When the schwa sound is before M, N, B, and TH, it is spelled with O. We hear this in the word from. Let's read words and sort them by which letter makes the sneaky schwa sound E or O. Can you read this word? The word is chosen. Notice that we don't pronounce the second syllable sin as we expect in a closed syllable. This schwa makes the E sound more like an I. So which column does chosen belong in? If you thought it goes in the E column, you were correct. Here's our next word. Can you read that word? The word is comfort. Notice that we don't pronounce the first syllable come as we would expect. There's the schwa. This time, it makes the O sound like a U. So which column does this word belong in? If you thought it goes in the O column, you are correct. Can you read this word? The word is fallen. Which column does the word fallen belong in? The E column. Yes. As you can see, the E in fallen sounds more like an I. That swa is at work again. Here's our next word. This word is wonder. Notice that we pronounce the O in the first syllable more like a short U rather than O. This is the schwa sound again. So which column does the word wonder belong in? Wonder belongs in the O column. Now, we'll look at a few more words that have the schwa sound and put them on the star that shows which letter is the schwa in that word. Can you read this word? The word is become. This O should make a long O sound, but it sounds like a, be, come. That's the sneaky schwa sound. Which star does this word belong on? It goes on the O star because that's the letter that has the sneaky schwa sound. Here's our next word. This word is darken. We expect this E to sound like E, but it sounds like I. Dark. In. Which star does this word belong on? 
it goes on the E star. What is this word? This word is quicken. We expect this E to sound like F, but it sounds like it. Quick in. Which star does this word belong on? It also goes on the E star. Here's our last word. This word is recover. This O sounds like a uh, recover. Which star does this word belong on? Recover goes on the O star. Let's do one last activity today and look at two more words to see where to divide them into syllables. This will help us read them. So go ahead and put your syllable sleuth hat on. It is time to be a detective. Here we go. Here's our first word. We have a few vowels in this word. Go ahead and say the vowels that you see in this word. We have the vowels A, O, and E. Each one of these vowels belong to one of the syllables in this word. Notice that the first syllable A sounds like a. Uh. That must be the sneaky schwa sound. The next syllable is a closed syllable that should have a short O sound, but instead we hear a schwa sound making the O sound like a. Uh. The last syllable has an R controlled E, and we can split this word into three syllables right after the first schwa and after the closed syllable. Now it will be easier to read the syllables. The first syllable is a, uh, the second syllable is nub, the last syllable is er. So the word is another. Here's our last word. Let's find the vowels in this word. In this word, we have the vowels O, A, and E. The first syllable in this word is a closed syllable, but the O isn't going to sound like A because the sneaky swa. In the next syllable, we will have an R controlled A. After that, we see a closed syllable, but we'll have to be careful because I see another sneaky swa that will make that E sound like I. Now it will be easier to read each syllable. Starting with the first syllable we have, come, part, met. So the word is compartment. Closing reflection. What did you do today that will help you become a more independent reader? Find more schwa words spelled with E and O as you read today. Don't forget to watch out for those sneaky schwa words as you're reading. Good luck and I can't wait to see you next time.